Well, so Richie moved out like two months ago now. And it's just been a little bit of a rough season down here. We've been living in our Wolf Creek truck camper for the past two years, spending our winters in Texas and our summers in Maine, traveling abroad somewhere in between all of that. Things have really come to a head recently and I think we were just both getting so burnt out. Richie worked three jobs this winter, I worked two, plus creating content for this channel and somehow we're still super low on travel funds. Ready to go? Come on. It's been an incredibly hot, dry winter, and this living space feels so much smaller when you can't be outside. Oh. What do you think, buddy? Where are we? Hello. So, like, nobody's this old who breaks out and hey, goes in the first round. Hi. So, if he goes first round. Chips. Wait a minute. Y'all didn't think we broke up, did you? <laughs> Space. Space is nice. <laughs> Where to begin? It's been a rough winter down here for me this year. I don't know if that's because we left so early last year. Been so rough about it. Um, for you. oh gosh, well, it's been hot, it's been that's like literally all I can think about the last couple months is just the heat. Oh, I mean, I'm like just sitting here melting. Well, hot a week ago, babe. That's not true, it's been a hundred for it got uh, into the hundreds like a month ago. I don't know, just everything has just felt like a struggle. I don't know if it's the heat or like... I think it was a small space. Uh, and then the different schedules was a big part of the troubles this winter. That's true. We Above were... all, me getting up for work at 6 a.m., can't make any noise or whatever, I'm interrupting you from sleeping. Uh, and me too. We were on like opposite morning schedules there for a while. Yeah, and, and then you rough. get up before me on some mornings and uh, I need like, I can get 30 more minutes of sleep, but... But I wake you up because, yeah, any movement in there. I remember you would yell at me for brushing my teeth because it, like, shakes the whole camper. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't know what I can do about that. And then I get off work late and come in late and you're asleep and I can't do anything. Same thing. I get yelled at for pouring a glass of water <laughs> too loud. I know, yeah, because I had to get up at 5.30 the next morning and you'd come home at midnight after working at the bar. And so, Yeah, I think the, the small space was the biggest thing. Which is why I decided to come to my big old 35 foot palace. We lived in this motorhome down here during COVID. So this was one of our original homes and it's currently a work in progress. It's pretty much just been a storage unit for the past couple of years and we fish things out of it when we come back down here. But we really haven't lived in here since COVID. And I was in the process of fixing it up, getting it ready to sell. And then Richie decided to move in here. And now I don't know like if we're going to sell it or if we're gonna keep it for next season or if we're gonna come back next season. There's just like a lot of things up in the air. So we're going to keep it for next season. If we decide that we wanna do something different in the winter, we can always come back and sell this thing, but it is nice to have the option for freedom in bigger space. Um, yeah. That's true. It's where one cool thing about this unit is it's kind of like a coach bus. The underneath of it is tons of storage. Basically the polar opposite of a truck bed camper, which has no storage. <laughs> and small. But it's efficient, the truck bed camper. There's no perfect rig, as we've discussed in previous videos. Um, so if you can have a couple different rigs, you can, uh, you can enjoy them all. Their pros and their cons. 
Now, it's not very practical. Most people who live full time in a van or a truck camper or any kind of mobile travel unit probably don't have another one laying around on standby to get some space from their partners. So this has actually been a really big luxury for us and I think really <laughs> helped our relationship in a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think being like couples have a high divorce rate. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the stats are. <laughs> I've never looked up that statistic, so but, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Space. Everybody needs space. And uh, you're moving in in a couple of days. You're moving back into the truck camper. I'm coming back. And how do you think that's going to go? I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be fine because we're leaving. So we're not going to be focused on staying in one spot. We're actually packing up and heading out. And we're we'll be on the really same schedules. The yeah. That will definitely help. So I'm also, <laughs> you're just a ham, you're a ham. I've also been pretty frustrated because we had this big fun road trip planned this summer to Calgary for my friend's graduation and I was so excited to hit a bunch of national parks and public lands along the way and we really had like two months. We were going to be gone for two months from here getting back to Maine and then recently we had an issue now we're going to new york instead <laughs> that wasn't ever instead that was on top of but anyways now recently we've had an issue at our house in maine that we rent so the priority at this point is to get back and to do some repairs and then before new york yeah, and then head to Manhattan to stay in my friend's apartment and watch her cat while she is in Brazil for the month of July. So I am looking forward to that. Me too. I am looking forward to leaving Texas. But this road trip that we do back and forth from Maine to Texas every year, it hasn't been fun for me for quite a while <laughs> it's just like it always feels like it's a rush to get where we're trying to go we have our rig completely loaded down because we live full time in it and it's just like luckily this time we are not in as big of a rush so we do get to enjoy a couple things along the way I gotta be honest with you guys though like this particular stretch of the country is not particularly exciting <laughs> it's not like out west where you've got a national park every couple hundred miles it's just kind of a lot of bleh That's her that I've towards it. that I've seen at least a dozen times already <laughs> I think there's hidden gems everywhere personally but we never stop and take the time to find them though is what I'm saying We're always in a rush now we get some time we actually can find a few of the gems and I'm just excited to find some hidden gems and uh, I've already been looking a little bit so I think we'll find something cool I hope so I hope so because you know van life is supposed to be as fun as you can make it and I just feel like we've been living van life out of necessity for a long time and not for the enjoyment of it I'm enjoying I mean <laughs> I feel that we're lucky to be able to live have a truck bed camper and a motorhome in a place where people vacation and I can work and step out and have beautiful desert mountains around me and stay rather good weather. You're grateful for it, but you're the one that moved out because it was too small of a space. Well, I have another spot, yeah. I wanted to move this over there, remember? And we just didn't like to do that. I don't have, I did not have the energy in me to live in a construction zone, which yeah, is what this it. is currently. I get it. But you can do push-ups in here and jumping jacks, and that's really nice. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the other thing, is I haven't been working out as frequently as I would like to, or have been, because it's so hot. Even with the AC on in the, in the camper, it's, it's hot. 
and it's not enough space to do a lot of the workouts that I enjoy and so and that's why we do have to get out of here now it's getting to be a hundred degrees every day uh, by noon you can't even you don't even want to be outside doing much and it doesn't cool down until dark so. and that's why I will never spend a summer here regardless of how many people tell me how wonderful the summers are in Terlingua the rain is does beautiful. anyone say that? <laughs> yes yes lots of people say it I'm excited about summer in Maine, and we get one month in New York. Are you excited to get out of here? Yeah, I am. I'm not necessarily excited to go where we're going, but I'm excited to get out of here. Where are we going, babe? Well, back to Maine via a long drive. 3,000 miles. Oh crap, can you turn the AC off in here? I think that's going to mess with the sound. We're leaving in five days? Five days, Monday. Five Today's days. Wednesday. I have to sneeze. Go ahead. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. Taco Bell. Okay. Maybe I'm allergic to dogs and we should get rid of the dog. I'm editing that out. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to clean up at the camper and get organized before you move back in kind of taken over. I know, the whole camper. Which it's easy to do. So it is small. It's big for a truck bed camper, but it's still small space for two people to live in. You know, most people have a fifteen hundred square foot home minimum. It's and crazy because like it feels like I have way too much stuff, but if I were to move all that stuff into a house it would be like one closet full. One little tiny closet for everything. So it's a struggle. And it's like this constant decision making pro I'm like constantly in decision fatigue because I'm like all right I have too much stuff in here because it feels so cluttered that it's stressing me out but I use everything on a daily basis so what do I get rid of to create some more space for myself it is like stressful anyways we're out we I'm excited for the road trip I probably will be once we get on the road uh but right now I'm just still grieving our out west road trip that really like I couldn't have filmed for you guys anyways because it's illegal for anyone to film in the national parks so more on that later but yeah that really limited our plans and what we were able to do and going to do do you guys want to stay in Maine this summer it's a really pretty house available for rent you have a hair on your chinny chin chin. I have a brooch on it. What would you do without me? Die. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> All right. Yep. We're going to go get packed and we'll see you on the road.